usually ladies are like, oh, the big gun, and then they find out, oh my gosh, it's so much fun to shoot. Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Armed and Feminine, and I am with my new buddy. It's her nickname from our DC project. Her name is Rhonda Ezel, and she is one of the co-founders of Chicago Guns Matter. And she is just a breath of fresh air, and she fights every day for 2A rights and, and just constitutional rights of everybody me here um, in Chicago. And actually, she has won two federal lawsuits against the city of Chicago. And so tell me about what those were about. And what, what's your message? What, what does Chicago Guns Matter really mean? Well, Chicago Guns Matter is made up of pro-gun advocates okay. in and around the city of Chicago. And what we aim to do is educate the urban community on how to lawfully exercise their fundamental right to keep and bear arms. So even lawfully exercise those in Chicago, you've got a lot of like walls put up even. So... So the result of these lawsuits that you won, yay, with the help of, who all was involved with that? Uh, it was the Second Amendment Foundation, Second, uh -huh. the Illinois State Rifle Association, Action Target, myself, mm -hmm. and a couple more plaintiffs. All right, so the outcome, which of course was in our favor, does what for the people of Chicago? What it does for the city of Chicago is give us the opportunity to build the first brick and mortar gun range in the city of Chicago for law abiding citizens. All right, so here I brought her out here to Pennsylvania where we are a gun loving state in this beautiful backdrop of woods that we take for granted that we could just come out after dinner and say, hey, let's just go out and shoot for an hour. And you don't have that opportunity. Right? No, we don't. We don't. We have gun ranges in the city of Chicago, but they are not available to the, the public. public. The public, but, All right. You know, they exist, but not, not for the general public. Right, and so that's a problem. And as we know, shooting is a perishable skill. Like, if you don't practice that, that it just deteriorates. And, you know, when your life depends on it, you want to be proficient in the craft to make sure that you're always practicing and being efficient to, to protect your life. And so, hopefully soon, we're going to get a brick-and-mortar public gun range I to agree. be able to do that. So people can have this opportunity. So today, what's your hand here? You, you shot the Glock 19. You shot a standard, uh, this is Springfield 1911. You shot a fantastic AR. <laughs> I know, right? And you shot an over and under shotgun today. A little bit of everything here in the land of freedom. I'm very optimistic. Yeah. We're going to continue the fight that we have. We're going to make it happen. That is the goal. That is the motive. Coming out here today in this fabulous Pennsylvania free state, being able to exercise a fundamental constitutional right to keep your bare arms. Right. I mean, that's what we fought for. That's what Chicago Guns Matter is. It's the plaintiff that stood up for the rights of all people. So, well, I'm really glad that you had fun here today. I had a blast just playing here with you today. And moreover, I had a great time with you for the last three days. And I can't wait to work with you more. We're all in this fight together. We talk about that we are not competing goals. We are all in this fight of 2A preservation together. She's doing what she's doing out there. The rest of us need to do our parts as well and just to continue the fight. And I love you, ma'am. Love you too. <laughs> I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine. Hit the subscribe button. And remember, it's your life. Protect it. Yes! <laughs>